And now, we are in St. Peter's Church once again, and we've talked about the focal points of our church, the altar, the anvil, and the presidential chair. That's where we call the active presence of Christ each and every time we celebrate the Eucharist. Another presence of Christ, I suppose, could be what we call the altar of reservation. This is this altar, and we talked about that at a, on a previous time. And this altar reservation is where we reserve the Blessed Sacrament, where Jesus is present in the Eucharist, in the tabernacle. We all know that he's present because our candle, the sanctuary lamp, is lit each and every time. But what I thought I'd point out to you is something rather interesting. Those who grew up in an age in which Benediction was really a part of the Catholic liturgy, because we used to celebrate benediction quite a few times. It's rather interesting that this tabernacle was even equipped for benediction. There's a little platform here that pulls out. And when benediction was celebrated, this is called the monstrance. This is the this is where the visible presence of Christ in, this, in the Blessed Sacrament is seen. In the monstrance is placed what we call the Luna. This is what, what the, where we place the host. And the host, the sacred host that's consecrated, is placed within the monstrance like this. It's closed up. And then for adoration, been placed on this little platform, and thus we have the Eucharistic presence that is experienced by the entire congregation. Now usually when we celebrate benediction today, we don't usually use the platform anymore. Instead we use the altar itself. But I'd like to point out another vestment that we sometimes use, and I'll ask Father Aaron to come forward. He is so cute. And in this vestment, he's wearing what we call a cloak. This is a long vestment that's used. And believe me, um, the, the alb comes before, then followed by the stole, and then the vestment, which is called the, the cloak. We use that for benediction. We often use the same cloak, if you remember Holy Thursday, as we process around the church. We use that cloak for that. And besides that, we also have, because in, a very, in the ceremony, we have what we call a humeral veil, and it just goes over the shoulder, like this, and it's buttoned in the front. And then the priest is able to place his hands inside these little containers, these little things here, so that he can, if he takes the monstrance around, he's not touching the Blessed Sacrament at all. And then he processes around the church. I just thought I'd like to point that out because it's part of our history, it's part of our past. So we have monstrance, the luna, the cope, the hero veil, and the stole, along with, as I said, this neat little platform that fits into our Tabernacle. And now you know. <laughs> <laughs>